What's going on you guys? Happy September! We are officially moving into the fall months and by the end of this week it's actually going to be the five week mark before show day. I'm super excited, super nervous at the same time. I am here at the gym and I'm going to be getting a back workout in as well as cardio. Then later today I'm actually going to be taking you guys along with me to my bikini fitting where I'm going to choose my color and potentially you guys can see a little bit of posing and a physique update as well. Yeah, I still haven't even edited the previous footage that I had for the past couple weeks. So everything that you guys see will be late uploads. There's also some things that I have to update you guys on. Um, I didn't even film for the last two weeks because there have been a lot of struggles that I've been going through and I couldn't even think about picking up the camera. So I'm just going to verbally update you guys. But with that said, we are here at the gym. I have already taken my caffeine pills because pre-workout lately has been making me feel really sick. So I've just been taking caffeine instead. But yeah, with that said, let's go get this back workout in. just wanted to get a little clip of what my back looks like before I start cardio, so. We are definitely making progress this week, which I am so happy about, but mostly happy that I'm able to feel this energetic again during my workouts and feel actually good and enjoy them. So now I'm gonna move on to cardio and I'll talk to you guys after the gym I just had my meal number one which is rice cakes a tablespoon of peanut butter and my 45 grams of protein in a shake and nothing has really changed too drastically so far with my meal plan the only thing that has changed um, is that we have now removed fruit from my diet I'm kind of sad about that I love Fruit. It's so good for you. Regularly, you should be eating fruit. It's so healthy for you. But when it comes to dieting down for a bodybuilding show, I understand that this is something that must be done. Now, just to update you guys on what happened the last two weeks, I would say I was going through some extreme fatigue. I would rarely have any energy to get out of bed. I was running on empty during my workouts and just the entire day in general. And I feel like there's a lot of things that were contributing to this, not just the fact that I am exercising more and dieting down and losing weight, which could cause changes in my mood. And of course, if I'm not eating enough, then my energy is going to deplete. But I also think that it has something to do with my hormones. One week was before I was getting my period and one week was during. And oh, 
let me just say, <laughs> Rudy has been put through it. Like those weeks, I was so depressed, I was so moody, I was getting mad over like little things, or I guess not mad, but like frustrated and more easily irritated and annoyed. I honestly thought that there might have been something wrong with me mentally for being that way, but <sighs> there was just a lot of things going on and I was so scared because this was my first time ever experiencing such crazy erratic moodiness and also just that drop of energy because usually I'm so energetic for my workouts, for my day. That was just something that was really scary for me to experience because I almost felt like I became a person that I don't associate myself to be, if that makes sense. Internally, there were things going on with me that I had to discuss with Rudy about stressful things in life or where I'm headed in general, my worries and my fears and all that, and my inner demons that I was projecting onto him. And luckily he's just the most understanding person in the world, always welcomes me with open arms no matter what I have to say. So that was really comforting. This week, after I got a refeed, I'm feeling so much better. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was that with this prep, I do feel like a lot of sacrifices had to be made. And one of those being my relationships with other people, the things that I'm able to go to, the things that I'm able to attend. I understand that's just the nature of the process of the game for competing for a bodybuilding competition, you're gonna have to say no to going out to eat with friends, to go out to partying and bars, which I don't regularly do that um, stuff, but that's just an example. For a period of time, especially the last two weeks, and I feel like the weeks before that even, I kind of had to close off my circle for a little bit. And so my relationships with friends, with some family uh, suffered because with this, I really had to prioritize where my energy goes. And for me, what was important in those moments was to focus on school and focus on this prep. With other people, I feel like they have a greater capacity to handle more, but for me, the focus is one or two things max before I start to feel overwhelmed. So the way that I deal with that is by withdrawing myself, whether that means having my boundaries set where I'm saying no to hanging out with friends, going out in the evenings because I'm just so tired and exhausted, and also just distancing myself from things that made me feel a sort of negative way or that fed my negative thought patterns. And so my communication with certain people hasn't been the best. I know that family understands and like the people that love me understands where I'm at right now and that this is not a forever thing, but this is a phase in my life that I really want to dedicate to this process. And sometimes I need to do things for me, but I I'm also learning that I really need to work on keeping the balance. Even though nothing will ever completely be balanced, there's always one thing that's a higher priority than the next. And after the period of time of spacing myself out and taking the time that I need, now I'm sort of coming back into things, kind of trying to reach out and communicate with people more. But I do worry that the distance that I created first made some people feel uncomfortable and um, kind of confused. And so that created further distance between us, which I think saddens me a little bit. But I am learning in this journey, not just this bodybuilding journey, but the journey of life, that change is inevitable, even if it's between people, things, circumstances in your life. Like the seasons, they come and they go, and I find that I'm learning to accept that more because the more resistance that I have to losing something, the more suffering I feel like I induce on myself and that's just not where I want to be. I'm just placing trust that, again, that the people who love me understand where I'm at right now and that 
you know, my distance was never meant to confuse them or hurt them either. It was just something that I needed to do to fill my own cup, not feed the negative thought patterns, and just do to come home to the person that I feel like I usually am. Those are just sacrifices that have to be made now and I know that the people that really care for me will always be there for me. That's still something I'm working on too is fully fully believing in that but yeah so that's the update from the last two weeks and <laughs> I just hope that I can actually get these videos updated, edited, uploaded so that you guys can see them because I'm just thinking now about all the footage that I have that hasn't even hit the internet space yet so <sighs> anyway i will see you guys when rudy picks me up and we go to do my bikini fitting really? you'll have the time to do that <laughs> about five weeks still to practice i do like this color though yeah I was caught between two that you guys saw but we also or I also tried on a few purple ones yeah. as well but they just didn't look as right and coach Robin says just to listen to Colleen's advice if she doesn't like a color in you then that's that and you should just listen to her recommendations so that's what I did and also Colleen was complimenting me on just saying that just to do the work and that I have the right I guess body type for this sport so I appreciate that and I'm really really excited so now we are going to a uh, turkey farm for <laughs> this man's meal prep turkey yeah <laughs> see what that's like Aww. we're here at the turkey farm but I thought it was like an actual farm with oh, turkeys running so around bad. no <laughs> it's not a turkey like petting zoo you, you said turkey farm so like regular farms with like pigs and chickens and stuff they still have them running around so I just assume but that's some pretty cool things here some blackberry jam honey Ooh, cauliflower mash low carb lines. I guess it's for like keto options I can't have any of this I don't want low carb cookies some ice cream that we can't have yeah, this is my first time seeing turkey bacon it looks so weird. I haven't been to Krauss Berry Farms before. They make some like really good fresh flies there. I heard that like when you go berry picking that they make the waffles and the pancakes that they have there like with the berries that you pick. It's probably really good. Probably. So we gotta go berry picking next summer. I was gonna say yeah, next summer. Because obviously now we're moving into fall so there's no berries. We can go pumpkin picking again. Hey bugs, what did you pick up? Picked Four packs of ground turkey breast. This is one pound. Animal wear, welfare certified. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Mm. I mean, it looks pretty good, I guess, for, I don't know, <laughs> for <laughs> raw turkey. I got four of those, right? Mm -hmm. And then I got... For you, not for me. I got three, I guess. Oh, no, I got four. Four of these little uh, dog, I guess it's like raw, not raw, but like cooked turkey for... Is it raw? Either way, it's either cooked <laughs> Or raw turkey. I'm sure Tuco will like it anyways because he eats absolutely everything. And then I got a little uh, a little Greek salad, but I'm going to take out the feta cheese. That's about it. So this place is called JD Farms. And so I thought that it was like an actual farm. Um, and they're going to be like little turkeys running around. And I'm just be like, gobble, gobble, it's fall time. <laughs> there weren't, so a little... A little disappointed, but it's a pretty cool store. Got some interesting things in there. A lot of things for people on keto and um, yeah, a lot of low carb like desserts, food, ice cream, cream, pies from Krausberry Farms. Looked super interesting, but I'm sure post show we'll be able to have those things again. Just go on eating adventure. <laughs> But anyway, that is all for today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.